Okay folks, the bar carrier really might be onto something here when he's using coronal hole streams to predict seismicity in volcanoes here on Earth. Now he looks at the solar plasma, the solar wind speed and density uh, from these coronal holes and he uses it to predict earthquakes and after a few days of inactivity we had two six point earthquakes pretty close together. The first one uh, right here along this region we've been telling you guys about uh, 6.5 in uh, southern Mexico. We also had a 6.2 in the South Sandwich Islands, which is one of the areas he had actually put on alert. You know, in addition to uh, this being correct, we had you know some increased seismic activity in the uh, Caribbean and Cocos Plate region, uh, which we've had our eyes on for a while. Uh, and oddly enough, you know these volcanoes are always going off in Hawaii, but they have a pretty good idea of where they uh, where they are and where the danger zone is, or at least they thought so. One of the lava streams just hit a uh, community. Now you're looking here, this is last night when the first bit of the coronal hole stream hit us. Uh, and then you can see, dip back down, and th that yellow there is the speed of the uh, solar wind. And you can see it went from 500 down there to 350, and then back up to 500. It's really been spiking. Got to look into his theory here. A lot of you might know that in a couple of days, Comet Lovejoy is going to come up and hit the sun. Now, I'm right now kicking myself for not uh, recording this uh, before and here's why uh, and as this thing comes up to the Sun I know some of you have probably looked at this before and checked uh, out the close approach I could have sworn that yesterday that said point zero zero six zero AU and now it's point zero zero five zero AU now folks uh, we already know this thing's gonna hit the Sun it's not gonna survive perihelion but um, here we go again with NASA changing the JPL trajectory. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on this pretty much uh, this entire week and obviously watch out for flares and CMEs as it hits the sun. We might have to wait uh, that long. Uh, we have some magnetic filaments that uh, became seriously uh, active as most of us were sleeping last night here on the uh, western part of the globe. As you can see here we had some hider flares and some ejections associated with them. Now, unfortunately, the Soho Lasco images are more than a day behind. It is currently 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is about 1 o'clock in the afternoon Universal Time, 1300, but on the 11th. This is more than a day behind, unfortunately. Um, but luckily, that's why we have multiple satellites up there. Now, we pull up the stereo ahead here, so Earth's off to the left. We can see uh, there's the first one coming out and the second one. Uh, one of, the bottom of it does appear like it's going horizontally, which is right where the Earth is. Here is its stereo behind, so the Earth's off to the right, looking at it from the other direction. Looks like we may get clipped by uh, some of this ejectorate material. Now, none of the CME evolution endless spirals have been updated to show this, but uh, let's just keep an eye on it and say it might be Earth-directed. Be safe, everyone.